Luca, you mentioned this on the court, but I'm just wondering how it felt for you after going to a fifth, and how proud of yourself are you that you you managed to recover? Well, it was uh, it was not easy, especially that uh, I had a lot of chances in the third set to uh, to close it, and I didn't make it. And I think uh, I can blame myself, but uh, I'm very yeah very happy to. Uh, Finally, find my mind back after the, the loss of the uh, four sets and get out of the court, put a new T-shirt on, and start again. Start a, a new a new match, and uh, and I think I did it right. I'm I'm very happy with this. You mentioned Emily up there. Um, how has she improved your game since she's come on board with you? <laughs> What's her? I didn't hear you. Uh, Emily, how, yeah. how has she improved your game since she's come on board with you? Well, um, we worked a lot on the service and the return, uh, trying on, on my consistency from the baseline. So uh, it's not perfect yet, but we we're working on it. And uh, yeah, I mean, we it's been only one month, uh, one month and a half now. So it's gonna it's gonna take time to be to be as good as we we want. But uh, so far, so good. Look at the couple of times I've seen your Instagram or uh, social media. You're uh, running with Amelie, whether on a treadmill or in the track. She's always faster than you. No, <laughs> she's not faster than me. That was my question. No, 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 no. no. You're always trailing. No I don't know if you saw that. You're always behind her. No chance. Okay. No chance. <laughs> yeah, I did it once, and we were on the I don't know how to say uh, in the gym. And then the other time she were she was at the track and field. I was not running. I was just here to watch her run. So. How cool is it though that you guys can get to do these things? No, it's 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 nice. Uh, especially we had to get each other to know each other because uh, we we didn't before starting. So it's we were yeah in Dubai in Paris all the time together, eating together, trying to. To know, uh, yeah, as I said, to know each other and to do some stuff with the coach is always, always nice, so it's fun. Lucas, do you feel like you're getting back to that sort of form that saw you top 10, 12 months ago? Well, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, I, I can say that if I say yes and uh, in the next few months I don't win a match, then it doesn't make sense. It's it's about consistency. I need to be consistent. Uh, all, the, all the year, if I want to come back in the top 10, I went, I was top 10 for one week or two weeks. So... It's good, okay, but I want to be for a year and to be qualified in London. So it's not only about being in the fourth round here. So, but obviously, it's coming back with the victories, and I'm very happy with this. Look, apologies if you've spoken about this in French press, but I haven't seen you in a while. So, the, in Dubai last year, you had made like three finals in four weeks or something, and then things kind of didn't go your way. I'm just wondering, do you know now that you've had time to reflect on the whole season? Do you know what happened? <clears throat> Yeah, I know. I know what happened. Uh, Why it happened, I guess. <laughs> I won the tournament in Montpellier. Uh, Joe pulled out. I was one set down and five three down. Uh, so I was kind of lucky as well. Then I played a bad bad match against uh, Rublev. Made a good week in Marseille, and then I was tired, but I was keeping going in in Dubai. I played some good matches, and I arrived in Indian was. Couldn't see the ball anymore <laughs> in the racket. I didn't want to play, but you know how it is. Every every week it's an important tournament, and then I said yes, I play. Finally, I decided to go home and practice for the Davis Cup. I practiced hard for uh, for it, and then once the Davis Cup was uh, was over, I I gave all I had on, uh, on this weekend, and then I I was like a bit lost. Uh, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. If I wanted to go practice, if I wanted to go holidays, or anything but I didn't really enjoy my time on court and then it's you lose one match two match and uh, and then it's it's tough to, to come back so mental fatigue mainly yeah mental fatigue uh, did, didn't really feel well uh, in my in my life or personally but now it's it's fine so I'm happy Lucas, did Alexi surprise you at all? He obviously, no, he's got a pretty bright future ahead of him, but did, were you surprised at just the level of tennis he brought tonight? Yeah, uh, I mean, it's always it's always tricky to play in Australia and in, uh, in Melbourne. Uh, it's only one month in the, in, in the year for, for them to play here, so they always play some unbelievable tennis. But he 
He has a huge, huge serve and huge forehand, and he's going for it most of the time. So it's it's not easy. You have to to stay focused every single point, try to to make him play. And but yeah, uh, I think he's playing yeah, some really great tennis, and I'm sure he's gonna break the top hundred and top fifty very, very, very soon. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank you. Um,